To speak more on this development, Mike Osatu, IPMA National Coordinator, joins me on the news. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, we're looking at a situation of cause and effect. The president boldly made the statement on subsidy removal, and hours later, Phil Scarcity has emerged. Now, your organi IPMAN, your organization, has kicked against this plan. So why are you opposed to the removal of petrol subsidy? Just surrender. And what uh, was said by somebody, he was a, a member of Ipman, but he has no money to talk about um, for Ipman. Ipman is in full support of removal of subsidy, and we have been conversing for this one for years. And uh, now that they have removed subsidy, they're going to be leveling grant, fairness, and, and and more money for the government. And there won't be anything like smuggling. So Ipman is in support of, of, of regulation. And so the remover. Now we are going to start business fully. We're going to do our importation. And ABC that we do there, they were going to compete on the feet. So that uh, I mean, first, actually, uh, I mean, because when we, we get the best service, however, they have increase in price. But as uh, Ambrina has said, that they will use this uh, the income on this subsidy for the infrastructure for the masses, like uh, education, light, and uh, rain, and whatever. So we hope that um, uh, the key to, to the promise of ensuring that the income or subsidy go to the right, right channel. But however, I must emphasize that Ipman is in support of the regulation, which has been done. And, as, and at the same time, from the one when uh, he has been campaigning for, for election, he has said severally that from the one when he comes in, he goes to remove the subsidy. So it shouldn't be a surprise. To, I mean, to Nigerians. He, I mean, he has been elected by Nigerians and is 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 living up to, I mean, the, uh, the campaign promises that he has said. So, I mean, so there's no any, anything to fear about. Initially, it will be very hard for Nigerians, but I, I believe later we're going to get the benefit. Right. Um, Nigeria is currently faced with a financial crisis and uh, the subsidy removal will see the country save at least 7 trillion naira, which can be used to develop other sectors, as the president has said in his address. Now, we're also aware that the 2023 budget has no provision for fuel subsidy beyond June. Now, if unions protest against the removal of subsidy and the president capitulates, don't you see an even worse financial crisis enveloping the country? Well, with what is going on now, there's something that can, I mean, cannot be resolved on the table. I believe when the issues is on right, we are, I mean, they're going to see that, I mean, they are, I mean, they that to see a way of ensuring that there's no problem. But however, the trust is most important. Trust. If, if, if Nigeria has trust in the government, that what they said they're going to use the money for is being used for, I think that there will be no, I mean, there will be no crisis. And as, as they have said, that initially there will be some, Pains, but I believe that after some some time, um, the, I mean the pain will turn into fruitfulness and benefit for Nigerians. All right, now Mike Osanti, Ipman National Coordinator. Thank you very much for speaking to us.